Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. So, uh, as usual, I want to thank all the supporters for the likes and comments. Thank you very much, guys. We will start with the EURUSD. We are looking on the weekly time frame, and as you see, a nice, uh, strong bullish candle here on the weekly. We almost knew that when the market did reach this level here. They did break briefly, but um, last uh, Thursday on uh, the ECB press conference, the, the euro found some nice momentum to the upside and did push higher. Now, is it uh, now the time to start buying the euro uh, for months? I'm not sure about that yet. Well, all, all that happened was a retest of this uh, key area that got broken previously. As you see, the 200 moving average on the weekly got tested as well. And looking left, it is a key area still. So as far as there is no break above this level, we might expect a little bit of a correction uh, maybe here. So on Friday, we've got this spinning top. Um, and that was almost expected after such a huge candle. Usually you end up uh, getting um, a slow day. And uh, add to that, that the market did retest the previous major swing high here, uh, the, the higher low. Uh, the lower high I would say uh, it did retest this area and looking left it is um, an area of interest back here as well and if we go further back you see there is a lot of trouble been happening here so what's for next week well potentially I'm expecting uh, this market to give us a bit of a correction after such a huge move um, we we might see a uh, corrections early next week on the euro so that's what I'm expecting so I'm looking for a um, little bit of a slowdown here any failure to break higher above this area could be a reason to sell and um, if we do not have the retest to the to the upside and just the break below this that will also send us pretty quickly back down toward this level or this level down here and the main reason for that is there is no support whatsoever here until we reach these areas or these areas uh, down here so the latest uh, move was a very strong move to the upside uh, there is a void in the price here that might get traded next week in my opinion so again failure up here would mean down or a break below this would mean also continuation to the downside now when do we start saying the euro will move higher for a long time well that would be after a break above this previous high a retest on the daily that holds above and then continuation but as first now we have big trouble here and that's why i'm expecting a correction early next week sterling we need to go to the lower time frame to see what happened here so um as i mentioned in my uh, previous overview we mentioned this level to be a, an area of interest uh, the market did reach that area failed to break higher broke the trend line of this correction so we could see this as first impulse this whole thing here the correction and now after the break of the correction we might start seeing continuation to the downside actually so for next week um um, since we have a break here a break here and a break of the trend line with good momentum I'm expecting something like this to happen and one more leg to the downside so keep an eye on that correction if it goes slowly like this making a bearish flag you might wait for a break retest and then continuation or scenario number two if they uh, fail to break above previous high let's say the markets start moving higher here uh, early next week and uh, start to uh, test this area with a failure to break above it that could also be a reason to look for continuation when do we start uh, buying for longer term well that will um, happen after a break above this double top here otherwise it is uh, for me a potential sell market um, Jap uh, USD Jappy, nice higher low now. So after this break to the upside, break above this, um, I mentioned that we got we might see a retest of this area to then look for continuation. That happened now. We do have a confirmed higher low, so we could start to make some kind of a trend line here and follow that. 
and um, yeah as far as there is no break below this area it will be a good level to look for a bounce to the upside could be something like this next week you see the market moving back down look for uh, <clears throat> bullish reason might end up uh, going sideways inside this consolidation zone now um, for more downside they need to break below this level if they do so then of course we could look for a target down here instead uh, to the downside but as first i'm looking for potential continuation higher Aussie uh, also did a nice retest of the broken structure to then start slowing down as you see a couple of um, doji candles one spinning top one doji candle this was a clear reversal signal during the week uh, on Wednesday on uh, and on Thursday if we go down to the lower time frame you see it um, bear we saw the market uh, oops testing this previously broken structure here couple of times failed to break higher than we've got the break of the neckline and it was um, game over for that day uh, going down to the one hour time frame and you see it even better here is the level that got broken strong momentum so even here i'm expecting some kind of a correction to then look for next leg to the downside um, any retest toward this uh, previously broken structure could be the level to watch for me uh, for a continuation move lower uh, and target is at around this these areas down here this previous high usdcad uh, i had a nice long trade here uh, went good took partial profit here since uh, we reached this uh, previous high uh, but <clears throat> all in all higher low here another higher low here we still have um, higher highs and higher lows ongoing on this market even though we've had um, a little bit of a move to the downside but it was only a correction with nice rounded bottom here to then see the break out of the range so this market is still playing very well uh, to the upside and man, my anticipation that we might see further upside but as first we still need to see a break above this structure here so for uh, uh, early next week uh, after such a move here one could expect a correction back down to the broken structure back to to this uh, broken range to then look for continuation so this is what i'm watching down here for a potential continuation higher on usd cat usd chief also broke out of the range and um, it wasn't the best uh, market to trade but as you see here the bottom of the range working very very nicely with this very strong momentum move we've got a big correction and that was expected after such a huge move usually you get uh, these corrections did reach 618 little bit further down as well to then start moving higher once again going to the four hour time frame we see that um uh, on friday we've got the break above this neckline now it did reach another level of trouble this whole area here might act as a uh, trouble level uh, for um, for this market uh, but <clears throat> Um, as for monday tuesday next week one could uh, look for a potential uh, move like this then back down toward the broken structure now but down here if they hold this level on the retest without a break and collapse below it we might look for a further upside in my opinion on this market and gold still bouncing around uh, playing around here uh, inside the this range here um yeah um the 200 moving average is still at around there not respected and um the bodies of these candles as you see uh, much smaller than the bearish momentum so there is attempts there is wicks from that coming from below and all that but uh, they need to break certain levels for more upside so what i'm thinking if they break above this then of course we might start looking for continuation higher otherwise if they fail once again we might see a rotation back down so we are still inside this trading range as for now so keep playing that range until we have a break out of it oil did reach uh, the target that i expected so i was talking all the way about the 90 since we started this move to the upside they did reach uh, 93 as well and if we look on the weekly and we start looking left as you see here now they are at this uh, key area uh, where we had uh, this um, bounce to the upside might act as resistance for now but all in all there's still a 
totally bullish market whatsoever and um, we should keep looking to to buy those dips for now now i want you to be careful around this time uh, when and if they do this retest you might get a short-term trade to the upside but any failure after that to break higher could be a reason to look for a rotation back down it is a key area and you really need to be careful buying after such a, a huge leg to the upside on the weekly time frame so uh, be aware of that that's all i'm saying um, could it go all the way to uh, toward the 110 area well absolutely why not there is nothing on the way and um, that is very very possible but as usual i like to see some corrections happening before uh, buying um, that would be chasing the price otherwise so um, yeah guys that was it Thanks a lot. See you next week. Bye-bye.